Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Today is Foundation Featured and I'm bringing you a bargain and a new launch. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. So the regular foundation, the Photo Focus formula, so good. A lot of people complain about the unscented scent because <laughs> it smells like chemicals, which let's be real, that's what's in makeup. But um, this is the solid stick version and I have been waiting to try it. It has been on the Wet n Wild website for a while now and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna order it. I just was like, no, 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 I'm, I'm not, I'm not. And then lo and behold, I found it in Walgreens and I've seen it both in Walgreens and Target. I don't think the stores have every shade though. I think it comes in like 21 shades, so it's a good range, light to dark, and some what look like really dark shades to me. I hope, that's good. So I guessed in the shades I bought, I got Soft Beige and I got Shell Ivory. Uh, I have no idea. So we're gonna just go for it. Um, Shell Ivory looks really light, but guess what? Maybe I'll wear them both and I'll just do the whole like highlighting thing. You guys saw my Scott Barnes video. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that. I kinda wanna use a brush, but I'm gonna use a sponge. I'm gonna do old school foundation featured method, half my face brush application, half my face sponge application, no primer. I'm not gonna put any setting spray either but setting powder, yes. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you guys about a six hour wear test so there will be a check-in later. This is typically a first impression. Mm -hmm. So you get, um, how much do you get in here? 0.4 ounce and it's $5.99 on the Wet n Wild website. That's a pretty good shade, right? That's pretty good. <laughs> good. Look how thick it is. It's thick. No scent. I don't think it has any, I checked the ingredients and I think we are good for sensitive skin, meaning no perfume, no denatured alcohol. Those are my first two, like what's in there. <laughs> Please don't have those two things in there. And then after that, I look for things like the linalool and the cinnamon and the, yeah, limonool. One of these days, I will figure out how to pronounce those. <laughs> Not today. But there's like wax and stuff, which that's fine. Okay, and then this is the Shell Ivory. Ooh, yes, definitely. <laughs> Maybe we won't use concealer, maybe we'll just use this. Okay, uh, Beauty Blender, this is a dampened Beauty Blender. This time it's actual Beauty Blender brand. If it's a sponge, it is always dampened. Yes. Ooh, I kinda like this. I kinda like, I'm, I just went with the contour. I'm gonna get maybe several shades of this product if I like it because I am sort of into cream makeup right now. Solid, like the solid sticks and creams, and I think it's great. Oops. <laughs> Let's blend the neck, Rebecca. How about that? Before we go pick up, you know, kids from school. That's good. Um, hmm. I'm gonna actually put the other let me go in with soft beige some more. It's, it really, I mean, it kind of doesn't feel like anything. If you know what I mean? Like, it's just good. I find a uh, stick, you know, it's kind of the same thing with powder. Sometimes a powder foundation can be just such a time saver. And same with a stick foundation. If it blends nicely, you know, it feels like you're just kind of slapping it on. Um, and, but if it kind of does that weird thing where it sinks into the pores and makes those little dots, or it's like pulling away as you blend, and then you're just going, oh, what is happening? So, this is a little bit textured, just a little bit. I can see it. 
Um, definitely don't rub it because I think I just shifted it. I don't think it's non-transfer. Yeah. All right, so let's do the brush side. Ooh, I think I like, do I like brush better? You know, I think the thing is, it's a little dry. Like it's a little bit on the dry side. So I feel like it's picking up maybe some texture. Ooh, it is time for me to derma flash. I got some peach fuzz. <laughs> so I feel like, you know, the finish is nice. Like, oh, look at that, it looks decent and it doesn't look matte or dry or kind of wet and slippery. Um, it's just kind of a pretty finish, but I'm not sure, I don't know how much I'm convinced with how, if it's not going to wear down. It looks just a little bit textured in person. Um, yeah, let's see if there's any other layers, if layers help. really um it does build but i'm not seeing any kind of improvement in this part I'm trying to decide if i like sponge versus brush better why do beauty blenders um my beauty blenders tear so quickly i don't think i'm hard on them Yeah, I'm kind of, I think I'm, I like the brush side better. And the sponge just kind of, I feel like it's sort of taking away a little bit, just a little bit. I do think though this shade is a really good match for me. This is the soft beige. So if you're kind of inclined to be what I pick out, oh, was I supposed to do, I was supposed to do the sponge. Wow. Way to go, Rebecca. The entire scientific portion of this experiment has been negated. Um, okay, so I'll dust a little bit of powder, I'll put a little bit of concealer. Got some hard candy loose powder. What if I do a get ready with me and I sing everything? Just kidding. That would be horrible. Loses 500 subscribers. I am going to finish the rest of my makeup and come back and share what I think. Um, it's doing fine with powder, so yeah. I wouldn't say it's like, ooh, second skin, but um, it does have a nice, it's nice. So far it's nice. I'm not sure if I'm gonna write home yet. Also, who writes letters these days anyway? <laughs> Alrighty, I will be back in a minute. <laughs> And I like it, I do, I like it. It's, um, yeah, so I feel like I see my pores. I feel like it's a little bit in the little, I see the little dots. It's actually good right here. It looks really good on my nose. Um, looks pretty good on my forehead. My chin though, and right here, I suppose are just kind of, yeah. Um, any difference? I think once the makeup, 
my, the rest of my face has been applied. I don't really see any difference between brush and sponge. Um, so I think the makeup applied on top of it very nicely. Everything went smooth, nothing pulled away. Um, I did the usual, I just did the hard candy translucent powder and then I did like some elf bronzer and some, I think I'm wearing Milani highlighter. Yeah, kind of that Milani blush highlighter thingy that's all together. Um, so it was just sort of my thing, my usual, my usual. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of my day. I gotta walk the dog and I said it and she didn't hear me. Oh my God, it's so cute. Phoebe and Sophie are on my bed together. Oh, but they're like two and a half feet apart because Sophie says, mm, no, <laughs> you little amateur thing. Okay. So I'm going to just, it's really, I have a boring day, uh, nothing exciting, nothing, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not really doing anything. If you want, I can run around the block for you and test it and break a sweat. Don't count on it. Okay, I'll see you guys here in a little while and I'll let you know what it does. Hey you guys, okay, it has been seven and a half hours and I am... I am pleased with the foundation, but I'm not thrilled. So I think that the original photo focus, the liquid, I feel like it has better staying power and it kind of makes the whole second skin appearance. And I'm a little more sold on that than this stick. The stick is nice. Like I think when you look at me, it's like, okay, that looks good, but there's just a little bit of texture you know, and we've just got a little bit of texture here and here. It's worn away here. Um, the forehead is pretty good. It's not bad. Um, it's just not that great. I think it needs a primer. I think there needs to be something that I can put on to just, yeah, smooth the pores. Um, I'm not sure if it's a little bit dry. I like that it has kind of a, a sheen to it. It has like a very healthy glow about it, but it's not, and maybe it's because it's a stick. I don't know, sometimes me and a stick foundation, just, they don't wear, they don't wear well. So, you know, just looking at, I really, I wanted to like touch up my face. I wanted to like buff out my face and put on some setting spray, but I didn't. I contained myself. I contained myself. I controlled myself. The rest of my makeup held up pretty well though, would you say? Okay. Alrighty. So there you go, guys. That is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. Pretty good. I'd give it about a six out of 10, maybe a seven, maybe a seven. Yeah. So, um, good for the price. And it has a lot of good qualities about it. Just, it's not perfect, but boy, I mean, we are rough, right? Aren't, or I should say, we are a tough, tough audience. Sometimes when I, I like it, when I know I love something or I know I hate something, when I feel just kind of like, yeah, it's pretty good. I almost feel like, uh, what more can I tell you about this? And I, I don't, I don't have anything more to say. I'm sorry. Although I have to say it did do pretty well as concealer. I kind of did double duty with it. That was fine. So, all right. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this foundation featured and I hope you enjoy my channel. Stick around and subscribe if you will. If you already have, thank you so much. And I really appreciate it. And I look forward to that comment. You're gonna leave me and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time, bye.